I rise today with a sense of responsibility and duty to the people who have elected me, a sense of duty to this country, a sense of duty to the Constitution of the United States of America. I rise today, Mr. Speaker, to call for the impeachment of the President of the United States of America for obstruction of justice. I do not do this for political purposes, Mr. Speaker. I do this because I believe in the great ideals that this country stands for, liberty and justice for all, the notion that we should have government of the people, by the people, for the people. I do it because, Mr. Speaker, there is a belief in this country that no one is above the law, and that includes the President of the United States of America. Mr. Speaker, our democracy is at risk. Mr. Speaker, this offense has occurred before our very eyes. It is perspicuous. It is easily to under, easy to understand. Mr. Speaker, we are talking about a president who fired the FBI director who was investigating the president for his connections to Russian involvement in the president's election. Mr. Speaker, this is not about the president firing the FBI director because he was investigating someone else. It's because the FBI was, director was investigating the president himself. And after firing the director, he went on to let us know that he considered the investigation when he fired him. And then he tweeted language that would be intimidation or a warning, an admonition very strong to say the very least. Mr. Speaker, we cannot allow this to go unchecked.